This is the uh, Club Booster V2. It turns any push cart into a smart caddy. Didn't even need the directions for this one. All right, this is the Alford V2 Club Booster. And this is the Rovic cart that they also sell. So this currently at the time of shooting this video is 739 bucks for this. They sell the cart for 199 and it looks like this pretty easily just clips on to the cart. The good news about using the cart that they sell is it's way easier, all right? So you just basically set this on and clamp it down. All right, very important note here is this. This can go on any push cart, they say. However, you will need the correct brackets for your back wheels. They sell those on the website. I'll leave a link below. And it's specific to the different type of push cart you currently have. So if you have one, you love it, and you wanna get this, you're gonna need the specific brackets for your cart so that the booster can attach. These are your wheelie bars, not to do wheelies, but to prevent the cart from tipping over if it does a wheelie. So here's what you would do to install these. You're gonna take these guys off the end for now. And then we just slide these in the slot and uh, bolt it down with the bolt and the nut that comes with it, secures everything in place. After it's secure where it goes, you would put this on like that and lock it in place. Cart doesn't do any wheelies. Well, it, it hopefully doesn't tip over when it does a wheelie. All right, we've got the wheelie bars on there. To give it a little extra support. Is it charging? Red light is on, we're charging, okay. Charge away. I was wondering what this was for. This clips on the cart and it will hold the remote. Well, I like that. That's secure on there. Some of um, these other ones, they fall off all the time. So you just twist it, pop it off, you're good to go. Let's get a full charge here. All right, let's see what kind of bags can go on here easily. Standard carry bag. All right, this bag looks good on here. How about this bad boy? This is my full size vessel staff bag. I've noticed that with the remote control carts that the heavier the bag, typically the better they are. Um, after it charges, we'll be on the course. So I will see you there. All right, here we are. I'm gonna tell you some things I love about this bad boy right now. One, it's pretty easy to transport, all right? So the wheels pop off, handle, easy. We'll see how easy it is to put together. See, it's just a lot lighter than a lot of the other ones that are all one piece. Power up. All right, I've always been a little skeptical about these types of remote carts just because they, they seem like they're not going to be as 
durable, as secure, as sturdy as one that is designed specifically or, or let's say fully made as a remote cart. This is more of a an upgrade, an adapter type of thing that you would put on a conventional push cart. So the weighting might not be what you would want for a remote cart because it's it just could not be as secure. That's what I'm always skeptical about. My cup doesn't fit in here though. Huh. That's not gonna work. Let's do it. After this shot, we have the steepest hill on the course and we're gonna go up the steepest part and the most bumpy over here on the left side. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see how she do. Turn, turn, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I had to help her. Give her a hand. Oh, oh, going back the wrong way. And the other way, huh? You would normally, on a big hill like that, use two hands and control it. So one of the challenges so far with this is that when I'm steering it by hand, it resists me quite a bit. You, it's easier if you use the controller and by hand, which is challenging because you're fumbling around with one hand trying to steer it with the other. It doesn't necessarily want to do it. it. It fights it. So those hilly moments, it's just hard to steer by hand. That's the one knock on it I have so far. Otherwise, it's, I like it. The wheelie bars are cool. I haven't really used them. The, it hasn't come up even on that steep hill it didn't really do a wheelie so that's good it has an extra wide wheelbase which is fantastic i love that it's probably one of the it's the widest remote push cart i've ever used yeah 750 800 bucks for this guy it's it's expensive but it's five to seven hundred dollars less than some of the cheapest full-on remote carts out there and it's super responsive how it turns. It moves quick side to side without like a jerky motion. I've used some that have a really hard turn, not smooth. This is smooth and quick, which you want. Uh, it's just gonna need some assist on the side hill things because it'll, it'll start taking the slope and go with it. Nothing you can do to uh, correct it. You gotta go stop it and go get it. So the Alphard V2, thumbs up for me. I like it for what it is, for the price point. It's a good, good deal. 
I'll leave a link to this guy in the video description below, so be sure to check that out. Just trying to give you guys options out there so you're not breaking the bank. It's a pretty good one. Alphard V2, check it out. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you in the next video. Let's make a birdie.